Hello, comrades. It's Premier River, and I am back looking down on the wealthy city of Revergrad. We are doing quite well with our money. Our uh, ruble, I think I like the balance, other than <laughs> I think uh, we could definitely start expanding how much we're constructing. Uh, I was just looking around a little bit while I was doing other constructions, and if we Oop, that's this. We just started a month, but if we look at last month, I, I assume that that's a pretty healthy example, right? You know, we're definitely plus five hundred thousand in the uh, rubles and plus four hundred thousand in the dollar. So we're we're doing pretty well. We're pretty close to that four hundred fifty thousand, four hundred ninety thousand. You know, quite nice. If we look at our domestic production. Um, you know, our constructions cost us 760, but yeah, so are we, this would be like 25,000 between these two plus another uh, 25,000 plus 6,031 and let's just call that 33, so, or 3.3 million, I should say. So we actually made money even with all the constructions we're doing. Now, I have a feeling that that might not be true this month just because if we go over and look at all of our constructions we're starting to get into building the buildings so I think last month was probably largely constructing roads so that's probably not totally true let me catch you up on what you missed in between the episodes which wasn't too exciting I, I tried to tried to just finish what we had started and plus I don't know w waiting for all the roads to be built is excuse me, it's fairly boring. So I've just been trying to put these little roads together, mostly down over here, because I thought, well, that's, uh, for lack of another reason, we'll just start getting whatever we can as far as getting this gravel in. Um, I would like to get this set up, but even if I don't, once this is done, which is, I don't know what, like 90% completed there, we should be good. And we got some more people coming in, very good. Yep. Now we had a few little delays because I finished building, well, I didn't quite finish these tracks. I have one more little track here. Um, I need to finish these roads as well. Now, could certainly be argued that it would be better to finish these first because they'd probably be quicker, but I don't know. It, it kind of all needs to get done. <laughs> you, know, it's, you know, I sit there as I'm, I'm building these things going, oh, well, it would be better to do this or that or the other thing, so... The good news is, is that we now have power every place. We did get our power substation in. And this is actually completed. Oh, is this, did that just get completed? Oh, good. Let's say store this item. Not that I think it matters too much, but I don't want anyone putting anything else in there by accident. And then I got this conveyor completed over here. And that was being worked on by these guys. So can we get this done real quick? One of my problems is actually just getting the darn roads completed. You know, like, you know, like this little tiny road here is kind of holding up the whole circus. Now we need some kind of a road. What is this building? Oh yeah, the asphalt plant. So we're gonna need a road to the asphalt plant. And I have, I don't think I've done too many of those. Yeah, I guess I should have, could have deleted that little bit there, I guess, but. All right, good, so now, Still have the same construction set up. I did get a suggestion to get some more constructions that are specialized and it it definitely does make a difference. There's there's no doubt that this guy having so many dumpers, you know, even though it's you know in some ways less efficient to get this one road done, keeping those dumpers bringing stuff down here really really does help. So I've tried to keep him with three or four road assignments just so that, you know, all of all five dumpers are, are hopefully going, or at least four out of the five are going to bring to bring gravel down here. So after he gets done this one, we can assign this one, and that should be all the roads. Well, we, we have these connections too, don't we? Yeah. Anyway, so we're, we're doing pretty well. And then we got to get these roads done. We can build this stuff, and then we have roads here, and we can build this. I'm not overly concerned about the getting this done. This is the rail construction area. That's, you know, we're, we're doing pretty well on the rail construction until we really start 
saying, okay, where else do we want to bring rail to? And the big thing was just getting what we have here done, of course, because that'll, that'll help. Once we get this done, we can finish off these little ones. That'll be nice. And do we need those for functioning? No. no if, if we bring a train in here, we can... They'll still be able to loop in and out from up there. And I do plan on bringing trains in. So speaking of trains, I guess we could go and get a, a train for here. And let's see, is this guy? No, he's not. How are we doing here? Uh, no people. A lot of times they finish up once they get their asphalt in, but are they? Yeah, see, this is kind of weird too. I don't know what this is about. Like needs, it's, it didn't always do that, I think. For the last weeks, it's been where it says you still need 0.19 asphalt, but that's not true. You're on the asphalt rolling phase. So I'm not, I'm not sure what's going on. That's kind of a weird, weird indication. So, all right, well, let's go get a train. Trains are always fun to get, huh? Sort of mark a. Now, the other thing is, is do we want to. We could get a train, or we could just send this guy up there, right? I mean, we will start using, the more we use over there, the less we use over here. We probably don't actually need another train, do we? So I want you, you know, I think, you know, I know I'm being a bit of a cheapskate, but I don't, I don't think we're actually going to use that much more gravel that we need another gravel train. And let's see, can he go, let's check this. Yeah, other than, yeah, he should be able to turn in here. So if he goes to here, he can come back out, and he should be able to make it up here. Good. All right, so let's add another station. There you go. And I no longer want you to wait here. And I want you to actually go back here first. So go back to the quarry. Unload. You know, we'll just have him like run through his his normal loop that way because he's only got 73 tons of gravel on him right this moment. So that way he he refills, even though it'll take an extra minute for him to get up here. Maybe in that minute we can we can get this uh, fully functioning, right? So that means we'll have to assign this. Can we? Yeah, I think we can assign that, right? Let's see. Yeah, good. Okay, so we can get that conveyor done before this road's even completed. Now, who else is sitting around doing nothing? Okay, you're still doing... You're doing the... Yeah, I do have them working on this warehouse and this construction here. So, because we're working on those, even though we're kind of getting this guy bogged down with probably too many projects. Say he doesn't have many trucks sitting there, but he still has another dumper. <laughs> so... You know, keep those dumpers bringing asphalt and whatever else you need up here. All right, so we want to work on... Oops, I didn't click on them. Yeah, let's close that locomotive, and we can close this. I thought I clicked on them. No, I just looked at them, didn't I? All right, where is it? There we go. There we go. So good. So that will be done. And then these should be done, which is good because we can start running some products up here in a few minutes. And what is this? I can't have so much. Oh, it's just a vehicle depot, which is good to get done, but not certainly not my biggest priority. Yeah, it'd be nice to be able to pull. Well, we well, yeah. As soon as the train gets here, we could we could switch some of these guys to getting their gravel down here. And one of the things I've noticed since they've given us this tool here, like if we Let's go find a truck that's actually, well, this truck's actually building. It, it appears that they always go, this, I don't know if this was always the way, but it certainly made it real clear to me that this guy's going to go all the way back to Brzezink North, which is fine because that's where all our supplies are, right? But in the, in the near future, like we wouldn't necessarily, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter as long as your supplies are too close, but you know, keep that in mind that when they're doing these loops, they need to go all the way back. So, you know, if, if he if we tried to get Prajink North to get gravel from here or whatever from here, 
it's not going to be super efficient. It's not like he's going to go from here, put gravel in, and keep going back and forth, right? He's going to go all the way home, reset, and then come back and get gravel, and then put it back here. It's not like he'll, where this guy will go bang, 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 you know, well, not to the gas station, but you get the idea. Like, this guy will go back to reset and sit there, but he but he'll be much, much more efficient because he's not driving all the way back down there to get stuff. So even this guy will become less efficient relative to these over here. So we'll see. Um, another suggestion was to get more construction offices in, and I think I agree. And we could probably even, yeah, we could probably even plan out something while I talk, huh? while we wait for our train to come in and some of these other constructions to get done. And now that I'm looking in that direction, another thing we've been doing is paving, paving this. So let's talk about again. I know I keep saying this, or at least I said it enough in the last episode. Where would we put a steel mill? You know, again, here's going to be our new Revergrad. You know, kind of in this whole like valley here is sort of what I'm picturing. It's probably going to run, you know, more this way, north and south, I call it, versus east and west. Because, again, if we have, like, train lines coming here, you know, we might end up with a coal mine over here. We might have, you know, not so many trains over this way, but we might end up with some kind of a little bit of a train system. So if we had ferrous metal up here, would we want the steel let's see exactly where this oops wrong one let's see exactly where this is iron no that's close but not quite it so really the closest we would put this would be here so i mean i would think you know we want to leave plenty of space for things i don't want to I would think that if we had a, a plant, you know, see, so we're sort of getting away from where I would have people. I don't want to deliberately put it far from people, but you know, I would think we might even put the steel plant like up in here, right? And then as far as oil goes, you know, here's Electrical City kind of down in here, and I would picture our oil processing kind of close and up in this direction. There's some, a uh, little bit of iron up in there. What about coal? Yeah, so there's no, no real coal in this area, which is a bit of a bummer. Is there coal back here? Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to have to bring coal in if we put a steel mill here. And, and thinking about that, that's where we would have, this is where this would come in, right? We'll have coal mines over there, and then we'd have a train coming in crossing this way and so yeah i'm thinking like up in here somewhere is where we'd put our steel mill and i'm thinking all of that because what that means is i would tend to want to take this road what happened there i don't know what happened there i clicked on this and it <laughs> shrunk the whole like minimized the screen sorry about that yeah, don't don't destroy anything. Okay, fire building is on fire. Yeah, we do need to get a fire station done, don't we? All right. Well, anyway, I'm getting completely distracted here on you guys. So I guess what I'm getting at with all of that is I would tend to. That means we're gonna have trains coming in here to get coal, possibly. So I would want to take this road outside of where we would have houses. So let's plop down. I don't really want to mess things up. Let's at least take a look at the houses. And I would do some some prefab that represent, represented this somehow. And I'm going to put the grid on for one minute. Yeah, so if we... Yeah, I probably would... Nah, I'd probably do it this way. Would I? Yeah, most likely, let's just say this way. I want to leave a little extra room. Yeah, so about where this ends, two houses could go in. So... You know, we, I don't necessarily picture expanding this too much more. I'm, but what I want to do now is let's bring this road out. We will do a paved road. 
Just do it a little bit more. Yeah, and what I'm thinking is, you know, maybe we just come right where it's... Do we just go on an angle that whole way up there over to this Ducati or whatever it is? Ducini. Well, I'd want to stay... You know, if we brought a train up to here, I could picture trains are going to need to come this way. Well, that's another thought, too. Is I would be bringing trains into here. And then if we had oil up over here... Yeah, I think I'm going to bring this road, jog it over just to go around Ferris Field, right? So let's see. It's kind of building up a little bit more than I was picturing. Is that? Yeah. Ah, I didn't, okay, cancel that. Come in here and look a little closer. Yeah, that's fine. It's, it's up a little more than I would have wanted but i don't think we're necessarily going to build anything in this neighborhood anyway right yeah so let's i'm just gonna for now let's probably just make it a gravel road but yeah we'll plan on having our trail rate train tracks come in over this hump right here so let's let's take this guy let's try to make them straight I need to keep an eye on our construction too, don't I? Yeah, let's let's do that real quick. All right, how are we doing here? All right, so is this road done yet? No, why not? Come on, get some people down here. Do some work. All right, you know, sometimes it's easier just to click on the constructions. Yeah, so you're still probably hauling stuff back and forth. You're still busy. That's good. Let's come in here. Yeah, you still have plenty of assignments. Are you still assigned? Yeah, you're still working on the warehouse slowly but surely. And last but not least, oh, look, are you done that? No, no, there, there's the road you're working on. Okay, good, you're still doing the gravel. That's good, we're about to complete a little bit of a loop here. Well, not complete, but at least plan it out. So now what I'm thinking is, is we come up over that's not quite what I was hoping for. I think like right there. Yeah, I think I'll level, level a little bit like that. Yeah, and then I think... Ah, uh, really didn't need to so we're going to need to get this station done but that at least gives us yeah an idea of where we can level to now let's well, i guess we could have always just <laughs> yeah, let's, let's just come here we can we can shrink this down i guess too if we were you know see we can level there yeah we can't level there so if we were to build another construction which I'm not at all opposed to the idea. So this one's all the way over there. You know, if we were to put another one right wherever we can get it in here, that won't really be bad, will it? And then it may be another gas station, I would think. Now, with the idea that we would probably... Yeah, see, this. there's a mountain way back here, so I could see myself somehow bringing the tracks around, like I said, on this side. And then at some point they would probably end up crossing this road and then reattaching up to here, right? So somehow we'll have like a train train system comes up to here, turns here, and then comes here. Again, the road, you know, we can always, I mean, the road's fine. We need the road for getting construction done, if nothing else. And I, and I think that's a reasonable place to guess. All right, so let's commit to that. And then let's say that we would put it on this side, right? How far up here can we actually... Yeah, we could level there. Can't level there. Can't level there. You know, this seems like... about as reasonable a place as any. 
before we get into what we can't ever level, so. And what I'd like to just for starters get in here is a, good enough for now, is a, well, we'll get in the road. Uh, you know what? Let's do the gas station first. We'll do the gas station up this way. So if we get a gas station in here, let's do the construction office. And give it a little extra room, of, a little extra room of leveling. Can we get a road that would connect these two? I think I might have put that a little bit close. Put it on a tiny bit of an angle. Just so that these two will attach. Yep. And then I'll, for now, just jackhammer up that. Good. So now we have that plan. So once we get a little further along here with this construction office or that one. Now this one... I think we're far enough from our supplies and I'd like to try to like it's yeah I, I think that this what might be a good place for like a mini supply yard right and in this case our rails are already on this side and I don't why fight the mountain let's be a little more natural about it though who knows maybe we do bring them up well I don't know I think I'd like to I know we can level the heck out of things but it just I guess I don't have to take advantage of that, you know. We can, uh, you know, we cannot level everything that's at, to the max. But if we were to do that, I'd probably want to stay out of this side. So maybe just across the road from the gas station and the whatnot here, we could put like a a mini supply where we would just have like one open storage yard, and then one warehouse, and then like a aggregate storage you know and then they would just have to come back to here to get asphalt or something but at least they would have you know some of the basics over there now it'd be nice if you could have a asphalt storage wouldn't it in any event how are we doing are we still oops, let's get rid of that wire frame All right, so we are constructing here are you guys still constructing? I don't see a lot of activity. Well, what are you working on? Okay, so you're probably needing people. Where, which one are you? Okay, yeah, you're probably this one, aren't you? Or did I do this one? No, that's... Okay, good. And then this should be ready to be built, right? So can we get... Let's get somebody working on that. Because are these guys... You're doing the warehouse. You're doing roads. But you could probably do some more roads, right? Again, keep them... Keep them flowing. Alright, so let's get all the roads done down here. It's a little bit of a bigger road project. Now, normally what I do when I do this stuff is I'll... Is I'll came save messed me up again a lot of times i'll just put these off to the side here so i can keep an eye on them i have a nice wide monitor and that, that helps a lot um if i know it's annoying to people when i watch when they even when i watch videos and somebody's got a bunch of screens so like in this case i was putting these two over here because they're the they're the ones that are further away and then i was uh putting this one up just somewhere on this side. And then I was also, I would have, where is it? This one up. So I just keep an eye and not lose track of him. And, and this one wasn't a big deal when it comes to the, you know, construction office, construction office, which is probably not the best name, but I know what I mean. Okay. Look, they're, they're done there. Did they build it? Boy, they, they didn't mess around once they got some people in there, did they? Oh, good. Cause we really wanted to get, this done, huh? Oh, look, and we got gravel. 
All right, so let's uh, let's deal with that. So you mountain, yeah, mountain view, gravel, come to here for now, and then you, no, no, you gravel, come there for now. Good. Well, we're one tiny step closer to efficient construction. Well, we got some fires going on, don't we, down there? Yeah, we, we need to work on, I think I said that. I won't say it again. Yeah, we need to work on these roads and as we get these buildings built. But again, I, the better, I, I definitely want to focus on the supplies. Now, Steve had given another suggestion and I don't think it's going to work, but I'm definitely willing to experiment. As I get down into here, he suggested that we just build a house like, quote, like the Gulag house where we could have these guys, you know, just grab people from like, say this house, or I mean, even build one closer, I think was his suggestion, but, and I'm, and I'm certainly willing to come in here and like, let's just say build one of these two houses like ASAP. But then the problem I found is that like you put people in here with no food and no, no anything else. And they're just gone and, and in five minutes, there'll be like nobody left in this house, especially if you're fast forwarding. So it's certainly if you didn't have a population overflow like we do, you I don't think you'd ever want to do that. But but even then, it just, you know, I haven't really timed out how long it takes people to leave. But in the time it takes you to do a construction, there won't be any like even get the construction started. There just won't be anybody you get the first phase done maybe with some people it seems like but i'm i'm we'll do a little experiment cuz it's not like it's not like we can't get rid of some people to be honest with you all right so nice so now we should be going to here to get some gravel even though it's a long and winding road good the fire went out wherever that was yep, and we almost have a warehouse so we have gravel. Now let's see, let's make sure our gravel train is not stuck. No, he, he's not, he should be fine because he did the rest of the route as long as he's, oh, okay, he's not stuck. He's just waiting on, waiting on the construction. Where is the construction guy going? Empty. Are you empty or do you have something I can't see? I guess he's not empty. I don't know. Darn looks empty though, doesn't he? Eh, oh well. There you go. There goes our gravel train anyhow. Now, how are we doing on our tunnels? We have a road tunnel done, but over here we have these two. Well, we're... We're not lighting them on fire, but <laughs> there are. I think they did progress. I don't even, you know, certainly not such noticeable progress that I'm going, oh, yeah, look. All right, how about here? Yeah, we're definitely, that one's definitely a bit closer because I think it was, what, two-thirds at the end of the last episode. So we'll have another, another road and more construction. Yeah, and these guys are getting to halfway where I think they were definitely less than halfway. Yeah, the closer, when you go, if you're going to build big tunnels like this, definitely having these trains a bit closer is going to make a difference. But then once we do that, we can start popping out here with some more construction, which would be very nice. All right. Well, I would like to take a little bit of a break. I'm going to let things progress, and I'll just sit here and look at the windows. And and uh, not too long, but I want to go get a cup of coffee. It's early in the morning, and I ran out. So... Let me let this progress slowly, and I will be back in a minute. Oh, source of workers is empty. Okay, well, we can handle that. All right, see you in a second. Okay, you've missed very little, except for now we are done working on the warehouse. So asphalt plant can't produce asphalt. Why can't you... So you notice that so why is that do we are we running out of bitumen or something no okay we just didn't have people there okay well now we have people there 
<laughs> Good. Much to do about nothing, right? So anyway, how is our, yeah, look, our steel supply is holding up. In some ways, we really haven't built that much to dwindle that. And how about our, yeah, we got plenty of mechanical components there. We're just buying the electrical ones. We got, I mean, our chemicals are doing well. Yeah, at some point here, we have to start talking about that. But just because we have plastics, and I think our plastics are all backed up. So one of the things I found is, you know, we have this guy. What is he working on? This is Energinisk. Oh, okay, that's never mind. <laughs> I thought he was involved over here. Now he's, but he's getting done that that section of road over by the other tunnel behind us. And then this guy is working on the asphalt plant. So I did assign that. I figured, well, that's again kind of get the gravel things. Now, what are you? Are you just you're waiting to unload? Now, why are you? Why do you have a question mark on you? Because you're trying to go to the asphalt plant construction, but you can't find a path? I don't understand. Why would you? Hmm. Yeah, I would think you shouldn't have a question mark. You're not out of fuel. And you've got all the gravel that you need. Is it just confusing you because it's a, gra a dirt road? Hmm. I don't really understand. Well, yeah, I don't want you just sitting there like doing nothing because then, <laughs> you know, it just sort of grinds everything to a halt. So let's... Uh, yeah, let's cancel that, and then let's just, we'll pick something else for you guys to work on until this gets done, right? Well, maybe let you know what. Just go help these guys with this. Oop, not that. This. Yeah. So we'll put two of them on there that way, because if that's going to be a problem, then yeah, let's let's get two of them on it, and that'll get done that much quicker, I guess. Yeah, your mountain view. How about you guys? So you're, what I had them work on is oil fuel storage, which we'll have for bitumen right here. So that's that. All right, but now we can start getting, uh, we can start getting some stuff into here. Huh? Now we might as well just buy the electrical components with dollars because, yeah, why not, right? Yep. And then what I want to do is let's take, these trucks are, selling too much stuff anyway here let's close some of these windows i know that it doesn't really bother me but it does really cut down on the view doesn't it um let's see if we can't well you know what we have our new handy dandy tool so all related vehicles you're the chemical vehicle of course all right so you are heading up to Mol molina now which is fine. Let's take you and you know what? We're going to stop you from going there. And then we're going to add. So after you go to the, no, no, don't go to the gulag. Yeah, don't go to the gulag warehouse anymore. Yeah, delete that stop. And then come here. And then I want to add here. And this will be the beauty of this. And then when you're here, I want you to unload and wait and with your mechanical components All right so yeah you no, I don't want you to wait there even though I put you on wait there good so just drop, stop by chemsaw since you're going by there and then just come on up here and and drop off and sit there and wait so that way we'll have Plenty of mechanical components just right in this area, so maybe I'll sit him off to the side while we while we wait. And then this there, so we'll have mechanical components, electrical components. So let's switch. Uh, let's at least switch the electrical ones for now. And same thing with this guy. we switch mechanical components or will that cause us a and the other question is should we have them come into here 
Yeah, you know what? Let's have him go into there. And you know what? I think that that guy should come back around, right? How many? You know what? Let's rather than go back there. Why don't you come right to here? Because you have enough. Seven point nine. There's no point in him going all the way back to oil jaw. Yeah. So you come in here. So that way we can get this done. And I don't think there's any huge. Oops. I don't think there's any huge benefit. To switching farming ski or whatever because like I said the trucks have to go back anyway right so it's 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 not like they're just gonna come here and go back and forth right so there we go so that's good so we're, we're another another step in the right direction there we go we're getting this road built oh yeah see this is the van advantage to setting all of these guys to this where they can yeah, and we don't need this open anymore. We've already decided we're good to go. We're not waiting on anything there. Yeah, so the advantage is we keep these trucks rolling. You know? All right, good. So once we get some people, yeah, people are definitely going to be our next big thing. And once we get these roads done, then what we're going to be able to do is start assigning, you know, like this road. Now we can... Would there be an advantage to coming in here and no i mean i i will build this house like first along with maybe the firehouse but i think i'd like to get this paved before we do anything else and our little road depot i'm not too worried about that let's go through yeah i'd, I'd sort of like to focus on you know building this kind of first even though we couldn't actually work on the asphalt plant too well could we oh look this is done okay so let's come in here and say no not assign construction though we do want to do that gravel assign to here and then same thing with this guy gravel assign to there Good. So hopefully that'll not have a big question mark on it. Now, what are you got a question mark for? Do I have something broken that I just am not seeing here? Like, a lot of the trucks are going along fine. I mean... No, no, you just lost your question mark. I don't know. Yeah. Our train hasn't come back, has he? Do I have him doing what I want? Did I make the weights? I don't want him waiting there. Yeah, that's a different train. Where is our gravel train? Oh, he's still just running back and forth. Good. At least he's moving. That's what I wanted to make sure. And the excavator. Oh, uh, he I don't know. He he got confused. I mean, I guess the question mark <laughs> I don't know. I don't understand that, but it's, it's some things in life are just a mystery that I'm willing to accept. But good. So now these guys should be coming in here. They don't have a construction project. Let's see if we can't assign them the asphalt plant now without getting without getting error messages. Yeah, there goes a concrete truck. Now what are you guys doing? You aren't doing anything either. So let's see. Can we get you working on an asphalt conveyor? Keep a close eye on them. Good. So that'll get the asphalt plant done. And then we've got somebody working on this already. Project North. And how are our road pavers? Well, our road pavers have many assignments. We need to get some asphalt down here. And how are we doing on this? Now, when you guys wonder why I don't show too much construction, because it's just, it's going to be like, you know, I don't think this is too exciting for a lot of people. Like it's just going to be some more hours overall of me just going back and forth. So even though this will make the episode a little bit choppy, let's uh, let's do one more construction segment. We're getting kind of close to a full episode. So let me oh, look. That was that was excellent timing. See how well I planned that out. So this guy got done. So we'll. 
Now I think this will be a big, big construction. Yeah, look at that. Now do we want that to go that far? Yes. Yeah, because I picture this road coming down here-ish. I mean, we might turn it before it hits that mountain, but I just want to make sure we didn't maybe want to cut the road in here or something. Yeah, so that'll be a big construction project, more than we need to get this done, but then it'll be done, right? And this is why I don't always attach these things right away so that, you know, you can get a big, long construction and not worry about sitting there fiddling with it the whole time. All right, well, let me, uh, once I get something else built, like, you know, I, I, won't, I don't, I, maybe I'll wait until all three of these or four of these are built, or maybe this will get done first. I have a feeling, well, we're going to focus on this. So I will come back when we're ready to bring materials in here one way or the other, like so we can get, you know, asphalt or concrete made here, or if this somehow gets done first, which might be lower hanging fruit, huh? Getting in the, the different supplies via train, you know? Where this will take more work to get all these things done. But either way, it all needs to get done. But hey, look, we're making some good progress. Two out of however many 12, <laughs> or three out of 12 materials we're now getting down here. Oh, look, look. Oh yeah, you know what we can do real quick? Is there anything else? No, that's it. No, we can't do anything real quick, but yeah, and I don't know that I want to confuse this with food and whatnot. And when we come back, I do want to talk about, well, you know, why don't we just do it now? Well, I don't want to do it now because it's going to attach, but I realized, actually, I realized a few things when I watched the last episode and I don't always watch the full last episodes, but I realized we didn't put a school in down here. We put a kindergarten and we put all their entertainment things. So what I was thinking of is that a school could go like right in this neighborhood. But I'd rather get that road done first before this guy attaches himself. But we just have to remember to put a school in there before we're all said and done. And then, you know, it's it's like, you know, some of your comments are, it's kind of funny because you have thoughts in your own head. You know, I'm just trying to show you guys this and show you that. So I went and showed you this school, which didn't have like, any teachers in it hardly and I just like blew right past it as soon as I watched it I went, oh you idiot you had like two teachers in there so so I went and did the gulag thing where I moved people up to the gulag and and re-upped all our teachers and and at that point I just double checked that each of the schools you know was, was doing pretty well so we should be catching up here yeah we're really this is the one that was having the problem so yeah we're we're getting caught back up on on the education issue that we had here. So, so good. So anyway, all right, let me cut it and we'll, I'll be back when, when something a little bit more significant is done in our construction. All right. See you guys in a few minutes. Well, I was just sitting here with my construction offices open, kind of keeping everybody as logically busy as we can. So, Right now, we're starting to run out of work a little bit for everybody, but that's good. Yeah, well, you know, once this one had the gravel and all in place, then I would switch and give him another assignment to where he could, you know, start keep hauling gravel and and those things in and out. Um, so let's close these windows. So I want to. I realize something, and I'm even going to probably pause it here for a second, uh, just so we don't cause any problems. You know, I've built this road, and it's a wonderful road. And, but I think we need to deal with this railroad track situation here. And what I'm thinking of doing is actually bringing it across here and somehow trying to attach to, to this. However, this is sort of in the way. So let me just pause just for my own sanity and let me go get the, the demolish road tool. And we're going to demolish at least a good chunk of this road so that we can go back over to our railroad building tool and get a railroad in some semblance of a logical thing here. Now it's going to have to come back up this hill. So yeah, I don't mind if it's, if we fill in 
unrealistic amounts of, of earth in order to do it. So let me come here just so it looks, I think it looks a lot better when you, yeah, that, that was a little goofy because that road's still in place down there. So yeah, if we came right up through here, as predicted, and let's do something else. Let's get our uh, wireframe on just so I can see what straight is. Yeah, you know what? That doesn't look so good on this side now. Huh? There we go. Now it doesn't look like the uh, nice wide path. Very good. So now the thing is, is you know, can we just get right across? Well, here, let's do this. Let's say... Yeah, it's right in this thing here. So if we, yeah, we can come right across here, no problem. But once we get on the other side, uh, we need a free bulldozer. What? <laughs> of course. A free excavator. Okay. Well, yeah, I think I might. Um... Yeah, where is our excavator? I don't think he should be doing anything. Oh, yeah, look, he's on his way back. Let's unpause it. Are you are you who I think you are? Yeah, construction office, construction office. Oh, and if you guys have uh, suggestions for the names, you know, I, I don't want this to always be construction office, but at the same time, it's fine with me. Like, you know, I also named this one Mountain View, which is kind of a bit of a dumb name, but a lot often, you know, it's like Greenland is really not a very good name necessarily for for Greenland. No offense if you live in Greenland. I don't mean that as an insult, just <laughs> it's from what I understand, it's not a very green land, is it? Uh, but in any event, you, you do have like a nice view from here, right? You know, if you if you happen to live up on this hill, and this one I just called River Bend, because I don't know, whatever that name was, I could never say in a million years. Yeah, and if you did give me names, you know, I would suggest that you at least pick a name that I can type in on my keyboard because then I have a chance of at least saying it. I know a lot of these Russian and Ukrainian and whatnot names. I don't even have the keyboard for it. <laughs> so in any event. Um, but yeah, no, if you guys have a suggestion what you think I should call a certain area, please feel free. Uh, the only time I'll, you know, I, I don't want people to get into a battle over the names. Not that you guys would, but. You get the idea. So, but anyway, we needed a better name for construction office, I think. That was just a, a placeholder, you could say. Mountainside, right? You know, like maybe we call it Mountainside. But we got enough mountain names in there. Okay, so what was I doing? I was waiting for this guy to get back, and he looks like he's back. So let's pause it again so he doesn't decide to leave again. And, yeah, I think we should get rid of this road plan. Didn't we get rid of this road plan like six times yesterday? Oops, what's happening there? Oh, uh, we can't? Okay. Don't know, what, don't know what was going on there, but yeah, demolish that building. And, you know, even as much as I like that road, I think, you know, I, I think we'd be better off bringing our railroad tracks in there. If we need to get a road over here, I think we're better off like coming off of here and getting rid of some of this mess of, of dirt roads. Um, just because, like if you, you know, and, and we could always bring a road maybe, maybe someplace else. I don't know how many roads we need down to here. And I'm not opposed to putting a road, you know, over here, even though it'll be a little janky with this, but we'll see. Maybe we'll just spin it back in there. Let's see how it works out. I would like to get, yeah, let's go. Anyway, enough talking. Let's let's come from about here. Oof, that's a little <laughs> a little different than I was expecting. I guess you could say. All right, let's let's yeah. There you go. That's. I know that doesn't look too much, maybe to, different to you guys, but it certainly yeah. There we go. That's that's a lot better. Okay, so now let's bring. This guy, yeah, that's nice. I can tell just from the way it, just from how long it took to, to do that, that it was not too leveled in a sense. There we go. So now let's just commit to that. 
this will also give our rail guys something to do again, right? All right, so now uh, we don't need these two tracks. So I'm going to come here at this point and get rid of this one. We're, we're never going to have more than one bitumen train coming in and out of here. You know? yeah, I'd probably not even have a big one at that. So let's take... Yeah, now the benefit, you know, once the train gets in there, yeah, we're never even going to have two. So let's just bring this out. Oh, I can't bring it out because it's too close. Oh, you know what? Let's, yeah, we're just going to get rid of that this way. Yeah, it, it, the Where I ended it before was, I don't know, is it? It's too close to the end of the road here. Gosh darn it. Really? All right. You know what? I'm going to pause it and let that road get finished, I guess. I mean, can we come here? Is that right? Yeah, that's that's pretty straight. Yeah, let, let me just design this with you guys. So we're going to come in from this track. And then we probably want... Yeah, we'll do another track here, just in case, you know, let's build it across the road nicely. And then when you come back out on this one, you're going to want to come over to here. So we, that's not going to work. Now, you know what, I'm doing it backwards again. There's something in my brain that, that's wrong with me, isn't there? Oops, build the regular track. Um... Yeah, it kind of straddles this line. So in other words, this is the out. I keep spinning it around in my head. So this out, let's just go to here. Yeah, see this out should go that way. And then, yeah, that makes a significant amount more sense, doesn't it? And then we'd come in here. Yeah, and then when we get that done, we can combine them over on this side, right? All right, well, anyway, let me, let's play forward time, and then I'll get, and this is why I leave these things open, <laughs> so I don't have to keep going back and forth quite as much. So let's get this aside ASAP, and I don't think anything else happened that dramatic, though we are working on these. I don't know if I said that, so just, just to keep people busy, so they should be done before we know it, and yeah, things are... Especially in fast forward mode, things are, are flying right along. You know, let me, I don't see why I wouldn't semi commit to that. And I don't know that we'll ever have trains coming out this way. Yeah, let me get this done first. Is that where I'd want it? Yeah, that's that stub is fine. Okay, I will uh, see you guys when this road gets built. Okay, we are. Uh, just about in business here. <laughs> so one, for a little while there, I sat there just watching the world go by in a sense. I mean, I was keeping guys busy, construction crews going, but then I realized, you know what? We could be building these railroad tracks because, you know, that's the last thing we need. Now we could bring, you know, bitumen in by truck. It certainly might be worth it just even to get a couple trucks in here. But at the same time, we'll talk about that probably in the beginning of the next episode. I also took a moment to look at how long the video is. When I chop them up, it's a little harder for me to tell. But So all I want to do to finish up this episode is get this in. And there we go. See, our road just got completed. Uh, just because the episode's long enough. And if, if it goes too long, blah, 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 I end up with problems. So, all right. any event, these we have two of these yards done. So in the next episode... The beginning of the next episode almost certainly will be, let's get all the supplies in here, right? Uh, obviously, we'll need to get the trains done, and and we'll talk about some more road building and stuff. Um, okay, so anyway, let's see about, let's pause it for a minute, just so, for again, for my own sanity, if nothing else. Uh, I hate to cross roads and such when we, well, that looks like perfect. It's like I planned it that way. In this case, I actually did. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Now, the other thing we should do just to keep construction moving as well as possible is put on some, uh, what do you call it, a couple signals. 
you know, these won't necessarily be the long-term signaling. Oh, you know what? We just, we did that wrong, didn't we? Um, let's use the cancel tool. There we go. Yeah, let's get this guy across here, and then we'll just, we'll join him up like that. I was getting a little too far ahead of myself. I'm feeling a little rushed to get the episode done before it turns into a second one. Now, the other thing I want to do, the last thing, and then we'll call it quits and... Oops, we're on railroads. Let's go over to roads. Let's get rid of all of this dirt road mess that we have here. And talk about how we want to bring in... go and there we go so we have this road here now let's get rid of this oops there we go well, you know what we're going to get rid of this too yeah that's asphalt road we might get rid of it anyway but yeah, we'll get up to get rid of that so let's see why don't we see what it would take to put in three of these houses right so in other words, we'll come in here and we'll go to the biggest one because if it fits, the other ones will. You know, we want to leave a little gap there for, for the possibility of, of a pathway. And then we'd probably put another one in here. Yeah, and I was thinking that, yeah, I think we can get a pathway in there. Or can't build due to infrastructure. Oh, the power lines are right there. Well, that's all right. We can get rid of the power lines. We haven't built them yet. Yes. Okay, good. And then... Uh, now let's do this one. Yeah, leave enough for that. Yeah, you know what? I, I don't... I'm not necessarily going to even leave these planned here, but that gives us... You know, a good, maybe we'll go right through this one. And that gives us a little extra wiggle room down the road, right? So let's get rid of a little bit more roadway. In here. Again, just easy, easy to delete dirt roads, isn't it? And then we would want to come across with a road. Yeah, like right here, say. So let's just at least plop this past there and then I'll come like past there and we'll attach that guy up semi straight and then I would yeah let's get rid of I'm gonna use the bulldoze tools watch out guys Oop, what happened there oh that's right we gotta play it all right we'll one time use the bulldoze the other time yeah so let's Play pause. Right. But at least we know those buildings will fit in. And so that way we'd have like maybe six right here. That's going to be a, a good number of people. Each of those is close to 200. We can even go back to some of my regular flats where we can really jam them in. But that should give us plenty of room to jam in. Yeah, look at that little ugliness. Yeah, get rid of that little tiny section. Now, you know what? As a matter of fact, we're going to get rid of a whole darn thing. Yeah, so we're going to come here. Oh, nice. So now we just have to decide, does it matter where we attach up here? I mean, am I going to keep in, you know, I, I hate to have too many nodes on this road. And we do sort of have a semi... Will it let me do that? Yeah, no. Well, I didn't think it would, but that's all right. We can. There we go. Yeah, see, I think I'm going to come off of here, even though, well, I'm going to come off like. And just create one less node. I want them to use this road. I don't want them to do stupid things like going around really long ways. Okay, so let's build that. 
or commit to it or whatever the word is. And then we'll worry about this over here at some future point, right? When we have our connection here to get the bitumen in, we don't necessarily need another road. I did like that we had two, two possibilities there, but this is fine. Like as long as we can get in here and start building some roads, I'll, I'll be happy. So there you go. I don't usually leave it paused at the end of an episode, but I think I will this time. And before the next episode, I'll decide whether we, you know, I may just finish up these constructions to save a little recording time. But other than that, we just, we really don't have too much. We have the rail office, which will be nice to get down here when it comes to building some more rails in different directions. Um, but not, not urgent. Same thing with the road depot, not urgent. So the most urgent thing is getting these rails done, I think. And obviously we'll have some cement possibilities so, so like I said I may play time a little bit more forward keep working on this road and, and these rails and uh, you know we'll see but basically the beginning of the next episode will should be getting all the materials down here so that's a wonderful thing to look forward to all right well guys I hope you've enjoyed the episode I hope you have a absolutely wonderful day take care of yourselves and I will see you tomorrow I hope all right bye-bye